investigate the entity and see there's nothing there now, when was it ever real? You see the falseness of it now. You realise, where was it when the sperm and the ovum came together? You say, well, me's here now, I've got to grow a little arm or a few fingers today. That natural functioning, the innate intelligence suffusing that, those cells, had all that embryo and everything within it, and it knew what to do naturally and effortlessly. And even when you're born, have a look at a little baby. A little baby's got no idea of me. Got no idea he's separate at all. That idea or concept of me doesn't come upon him until the capacity of reasoning develops about two, two and a half. The little child learns words. As soon as he learns words like me, what's the opposite of me? Because the mind, being a vibration, always vibrates in the interrelated opposites. Not in the past, it's in the future. And the other way it's interrelated it's present, painful, happy, sad, loving, hating. So what happens when the idea of me comes upon him? He looks out there, we're before the little child, watch him and see him. Seeing everything as it is, he's not seeing one homogenous blob out there. And he reasons, that doesn't fit this description of little Johnny or me they're talking about. So it's not me. And that's when the sense of separation comes, first comes upon us. And with that sense of, sense of separation comes insecurity and vulnerability. And that's when our search starts. We're seeking to become secure, whole and complete because we've taken on the erroneous belief that we are separate entities, individuals, persons. But we never ever were. That's why you go back and have a look and investigate and see. There's no me there now. You investigate, you can't find it. When was it ever there? And you realise it could never have been there. So when did you choose or have any control as a separate entity? At what time? Wherever? Or when? You realise you've been lived all the way through, into, even into this erroneous belief that you are a separate entity. Seeing through it, you can no longer believe it again. And if you no longer believe it, it loses its intensity. Something that can't be believed in, it's lost its power, it's lost its hold of it. And keep, if it comes up out of habit and catches you again, recognise again that there is nothing there with any substance or any independent nature. And the more often it's seen, the less hold it has on you. Till you can't function from that point anymore.